from south to north. Welcome to Isan region of Thailand. This is the land of extra spicy, extra bold and luxurious taste. We've loved Isan food ever since we were in New York City. There's a lot of Isan food there and we're so happy to be here in this region. There's so much incredible food. In this video, we're going to show you lots of it. The ultimate Isan food tour here in Udon Thani. We're going to show you different night markets. But it's still daytime and the night market is just about to open. So let's go for daytime food, shall we? <laughs> street signs has on top of it has the has like a landmark from each province or city you're in it's really cool so even at Udon Thani you have a little temple there on top that's the street that we're going to get our daytime feast Staples of Isan cuisine also has a lot in common with Laos. Laos is a country only an hour away from here in Udon Thani, and they overlap a lot in the cuisine, especially when it comes to the sum sum, the green papaya salad, and the lap. The lap is amazing because it's such a dynamic dish. So we actually have it two different types of lap here. We have a vegetarian lap, and we have one with fried squid. You've never seen this before coming to Udon Thani. The thing with lap is great because you can have it fried, boiled. You can have meat, seafood, vegetable, you name it. But this fried squid lop is really something special. Fried squid is one of our favorite things to eat anywhere in the world, and so is lop. So you combine the two together, it is just like a match made in heaven. Can't even talk about it anymore. I'll just take a bite. Mm. The fried squid is tossed with lime, fish sauce, toasted rice powder, a lot of different herbs. You have scallions, mint, a little symphony of flavors. You have sour, salty, spicy, a little bit of sweet. There's just so much going on in here. You know, that freshness coming in from the herbs, like the mint, Lop is such like a simple dish kind of an execution, but it's not simple in flavor. It's very complex in flavor. And it's pretty healthy too. That's what's nice about it. Like, but in general about Isan food we love, it's relatively healthy if you think about it. Sumtum or green papaya salad, maybe arguably the most famous dish in Isan, the most popular. There's so many different varieties. We got the Lao version, because we're only an hour away from Laos. But why not? The Lao version comes with this really dark, bold, fermented fish. You can see it's a very striking color. A lot of chili in here too. And there's tomato, herbs. So I love just watching it being made too. Watch it being made fresh, just matching it up on that mortar and pestle. It's beautiful. All right, take a bite. Such a fresh dish. I love that green papaya that it's nice and crunchy, not sweet. It just has a really clean, fresh flavor. You mix that in with that fermented fish. You get that little bit of fish funk, but it's not too overwhelming. What I like about it too, it doesn't go too crazy with the fishy funk. You add in that, the herbs too. It's such a nice, refreshing dish, and it's got some heat too. You actually add some of the dial it down just a little bit, but this can be really spicy. And even, even on a low level, it's got some real heat to it. Delicious.
part of the show, this mushroom lap. What I really love about this mushroom lap, aside from it's not that common around Thailand, and I think in most part of the world, is that it is very healthy. Like what you find in many restaurants, it's uh, pork or chicken, sometimes there's duck. But, mm. There's at least three, four different kind of mushroom in here. Add that mint on that bite. Ah, it is explosion of flavor inside your mouth. Wow. And that lunch was delicious. Now, we need to walk all that food. We're on our way to... Besides the food, probably the main attraction here at Wudan <laughs> It's It's funny and you'll yeah. see why, why it's funny, but it's a beautiful place. Woo. All right, let's go. what they're playing it looks like it looks like a mix of uh, golf and bocce welcome to the land of rubber duckies <laughs> <laughs> yeah Urantani lit up in lights very nice reflecting on the lake beautiful and the reason why I say land of rubber duckies because Look at how many rubber duckies floating. <laughs> There's two. There's plenty more of it that end right there. Yeah. It's a thing, because even if you go across the street, there's a lot of little cafes and smoothie shop restaurants. They all have little rubber duckies outside, so it's famous in this park. It is cool though, so it's yeah. like, I think for sure that this place is man made, mm -hmm. since we are in the north. Northeast, yeah, it's pretty much landlocked besides the Mekong River at the north on the border. This is a beautiful, beautiful suspension bridge. Look at that! And it changes its colors too. Pretty. And this park is huge. It is big. <laughs> From the looks of it coming in, it looks tiny, but it is huge. I feel like this one especially, this this looks new. It's like they just opened it, probably. Yeah. Very clean. Very clean. For the main event, dinner. Now this entire stretch is just filled with uh, night market. Now we are going to show you or give you a glimpse of what you can get in this night market in this entire street. It's probably about a half a mile of night markets here. It's really incredible and we love it. It's very uh, centralized. It's by all the shopping centers. So this UD Town's a big shopping center here and this is the first night market. It's right next to the Tesco Lotus. You can just get lost here buying food. Yeah. It's amazing. All right, let's go.
first stop here at this amazing market. I just, it's, the aromas here are just mouth-watering. So the first stop we have here are for Isan sausages. So here in the Isan region, northeast of Thailand, they're very famous for their sausages. They have a few varieties. This stall has two of them. Got them both. I love that you can see the sausage links hanging up. She cuts them up with a scissor, puts them on these skewers and grills them up. So there's one here that's lighter. I'm gonna try that one first actually. Mmm, so, so good. So you can actually see at first glance, it's bits of sticky rice here. Let's take a bite of this one. Mmm. Mmm. It's so interesting, this one. So it's got a fermented, kind of sour taste to it. There's bits of that fermented pork, but there's a lot of rice in here. I'd probably wager that this has more rice than meat, but I love that sour taste. It's just really nice. Mm. The sausage itself is very juicy. They're just grilling them up fresh all night long and get here early because they sell out pretty quickly. All right, time to try the second sausage. There's much darker red, almost brown color here. Smaller too. Get a little bite. Mm. This one's really, really different. It's a much more fragrant taste. I really taste lime leaves. You can see there's some green lime leaves in here. There's still rice, but it's more red. This one is really unique because it's got that sour fermented taste, but it also has a really strong kick of lime leaves and there's chopped lemongrass in here. And you also have those little bits of rice, but more of the meat, maybe even a little bit of blood in here from that color. It's a really unique and really delicious sausage. I love it. Yeah, UD Town is a large shopping center over here in Udon Thani. It's a, it's a mix of outdoor and indoor shopping. This one's next to the big Tesco Lotus. This is the UD Town Fort. time favorite dishes is nem cow. We've even eaten it in the US, but we're actually eating it here in Isan where it's very famous and also very famous right across the border in Laos. What it is is a beautiful crispy rice salad. So the whole the whole rice ball is deep fried. And you can even tell at first glance when you pull up to the stall that it's really crispy. And this one she mixes it in with the pink nem, the preserved pork. This dish just has it all. That aroma is just incredible. Let's get a big spoonful of this. Mm. It's got that beautiful, harmonious flavors and textures just playing off each other. That sour, spicy, salty, sweet, funky. And then you got the crunchy, kind of bit of chewy from that pork inner. This, the crunchy just comes from all different levels too. The rice, the red onion, the ginger. You also have the spices from these red chilies. This truly is one of the best dishes, I'm gonna boldly say, in the world. It's absolutely next level. Those lime leaves come in and just give it such incredible flavor. There's so much lime leaves in here. I'm gonna take it to the stratosphere of this dish. of a modern night market. I'm not even sure if this is a night market because it could be open at daytime. It looks very modern inside, so let's go. Clothing section here. Accessories, shoes, they're like different little stalls.
We love the vibe of this place. We come to this place ev almost every night for our two week stay here in Uruntani. It has everything we need. Food, smoothie, juices, healthy stuff. It has everything. Clothes, you name it. This market has it. We have a staple Isan dish here. It's a whole grilled tilapia fish covered in salt, grilled over charcoal. It's called Pla Pao. What's nice about it is that they cover the whole inside with lemongrass, lime leaves. There's so much flavor when you crack that open. And the salt is used just so it can evenly cook it and it really leads to a really moist and juicy fish. I gotta admit, Tilapia was never really my favorite fish, especially in the US. I always thought it had like a muddy, dirty taste, but it's different here in Isan. Let's try to bite that fish. Let's see if I can conquer my long-term fears over these fish. Mm. That's a really fresh taste in tilapia. It has no hint of dirt, muddy taste whatsoever. The bench is fresher here. We're also not far from the Mekong River. Not sure if it comes from there, but this is probably the best tilapia I've ever eaten in my life. It's so fresh and good. If you put this in front of me and it didn't see what the fish looked like, I wouldn't even know it's tilapia. A great way to eat this tilapia is they give you a whole big bucket here of fresh veggies and herbs, and they give you this dish here full of different aromatics like lemongrass, ginger, raw garlic, red onion, pickled vegetable, you have vermicelli noodle. We're in the northeast region, Thailand, Isan. We're not near the sea or the oceans. So we have only freshwater fish, and that's what tilapia is. So the best thing to do is just take one of these uh, lettuce or cabbage, take some meat of the fish, put it on there, wrap it up, add some lemongrass, some garlic, some mint, some basil. Take that bite and it's just so refreshing and clean tasting. Really incredible. This kind of, this changed my mind about tilapia completely. I'll tell you right from this spot. part of the episode where you buy us a coffee, we do the walking and mostly the drinking, thanks to you down here below for making this even more possible. Now, help us support more local coffee shops like this one. Well, it's not really a coffee shop. It's a juice bar smoothie. Help us support more local shops like this one by buying us a coffee and more. Thank you! This is the part where we're going to go healthy. We have our juices and smoothie. It's been our go-to juice here. Our four ingredients we get is lemon, ginger, krachai, which is uh, it's like a Thai ginger. It's like a mini ginger. They call it lesser ginger. And we also have carrot. They give it this orange color. Super healthy. One of the healthiest things you ever see us consume on this channel. Mm. It's just perfect. You got that. Just, I just feel like it's cleansing me on every sip. That lemon, that ginger, the kachai, the carrot. The carrot didn't even taste that much, but that lemon and ginger is so strong. It's got a little bit of burn in your throat, kind of sharp. I love it. Like we don't we don't just binge out on food here. We, we try to keep healthy. <laughs>